organizers and the host can ask me questions about their diet and like, is cucumber better than capsicum or not? That's, that's an interesting question, Ryan. Probably you could answer that for us first. So people uh, who have, um, people who are, um, you know, if you track your family, uh, like I always ask in my family, my mother's side and my father's side, was there diabetes, was there hypertension, heart problem, stroke problem? And, you know, everyone in this community is all with numbers and statistics. Basically, finance guys are very strong on numbers. So you look at the statistical evidence of how many people in which side of the family uh, has those issues. And if there's a little bit of diabetes, cucumber works very well in healing the pancreas. So, you know, from, from that perspective, I would be like, okay, if this, if you see in your khanda and hey, there's diabetes coming in from this side of the family, maybe cucumber becomes kind of one of my best friends or my assistant kind of thing. And uh, bell peppers or capsicum, uh, I've used it very aggressively for film stars six packs uh, because it has got a molecule in it called capsicane, which kind of uh, ramps up metabolism. So, you know, so I kind of like, it doesn't taste well, good for a lot of people, but like if you can camouflage it in an omelet, you can camouflage it into your Indian bread, you can camouflage it into your salads, then that really works well. So let's get started for the people yes. that have come in and early because anyway, this will be available as a recording and people can, you know, uh, fast forward. Absolutely. It. And I watch it on 2x normally whenever I do it. I don't know how many people, <laughs> yeah, everyone's laughing right now because all of us in the world are impatient. We do it on 2x. So let's get started. Absolutely. Uh, so welcome everyone. Healthy is an outfit that looks different on everybody. A very good evening to one and all present here. I, Himakshi Jain, on behalf of the entire 360TF family, welcome you to today's healthy and thoughtful initiative enabling your 2023 resolutions for health and fitness. I'm sure most of us present here today are here because this year we pledge to keep our New Year resolutions a little longer than we have thought. At 360TF, we have seen our co-founders being very passionate about fitness and health, from posture yoga to having various outdoor, outdoor activities to motivate all 3940 employees to stay healthy and fit has been imbibed in the culture of our organization. I can proudly say most of us are part of this can't hear you. Himachi. Himachi, there seems to be, yeah, there seems to be some, could you just check that please? Himachi, not audible. Uh, am I audible now? Yes. Yes. This webinar in association with Quan Nutrition shall sweep you, sweep most of you off your feet as you will realize that physical and mental fitness does not require you to take big decisions, rather small steps. Being a trade finance expertise organization, we understand the value of having the best at your end. And hence, we decided to associate with an award-winning celebrity and make the beginning of your year less of a worry for fitness. I'm happy to welcome and honored to introduce Mr. Ryan Fernando to all of you present here. Ryan Fernando is an award-winning celebrity, sports nutritionist with two Guinness World Records and two Olympic medals under his belt. His client list includes American Olympic athlete Kenneth Badna, cricketer Virat Kohli, Shikhar Dhawan, and Bollywood superstars Amir Khan, Pardeen Khan, and Abhishek Bachchan. No, the list is not all. There are many, there are many others. He's a founder at Quan Nutrition Signature Clinics and Institute Nutrition, a platform for online nutrition education. Ryan, Ryan is a nutrition and health coach, nutrition genetics counselor, podcaster, speaker, lecturer, radio jockey, author, and the founder of Qua Nutrition Clinics. A life member with Nutrition Society of India and a British Commonwealth scholar with two masters of science degrees, food biotechnology from University of Strathclyde in Scotland and clinical biochemistry from Goa Medical College. He is a certified health coach from USA. Before we hear Ryan, let us all first get to know the resolution each one of you has made. 
I request you all to put up your resolutions in the chat box while our co-founder and chairman, Mr. Pankaj Mundra, shares about his resolutions with us in the next few words. Over to you, Pankaj. Thanks, Imakshi. Am I audible? Thanks, Imakshi. And uh, I wish uh, a very happy evening to all of you and wishing you a very happy, healthy 2023. Uh, it's a great, uh, you know, I will say we are grateful that to start our first knowledge series of 360TF this year with this uh, healthy topic of, uh, you know, uh, with Ryan. And uh, this is, uh, I will just quickly to share with you, uh, I met Ryan last year in May, first time uh, in Dubai, and we became friend. And then uh, while driving back home, uh, take him, uh, dropping him to, I remember Atlantis, he gave me a very something very interesting, which became, uh, which uh, touched my heart that, you know, you know, if you want to commit yourself for 365 days on your health, hire a coach and pay him in advance for minimum three months or 12 months, you know, don't go for a uh, accrual monthly payment. And that's where how the journey started with Ryan. And that has been uh, given me a very fruitful results. But interestingly, why we're starting this uh, year with this interesting topic is, you know, you all know, we started 360 TF one and a half years back. And interestingly, uh, a few months back, while on an investor roadshow with me, myself and my co-founder Vikram Loda, one of the interesting questions came from a VC investor that, do you have a key man insurance? I said, yes, we have that. But then the second question came is that you have ambitious plan of, uh, you know, expanding to US, going global, I want to become a unicorn, expand globally, build factoring company and so on and so forth. So how strong is your being and health, you know? So I then mentioned that, yes, uh, on the being, I uh, have my spiritual teacher who's been guiding for last five years. And this year, uh, I said, we are, I've just engaged my yoga teacher. And now, uh, recently, I've uh, engaged uh, Ryan's team for my nutrition and diet. So I think all tick box being done. I said the insurance only worm once you are not around. But what you, when you are around to leave this team and this ambitious target, you need to be strong all, all three aspects. So that's where our journey started. And we bring in this interesting uh, uh, webinar with all of you. So I wish all of you once again a very happy, healthy new year. And thanks, Ryan, uh, to joining us in this journey of our healthy start of this year. So thank you. And Himakshi, over to you. Thank you so much, Pankit, sir. Uh, not wasting much more time. Uh, over to you, Ryan. We're eager to hear you. Thank you, Pankaj, for inviting me and hosting this awesome webinar. I love the fact that the pandemic allows Zoom to host webinars now. I don't have to travel too much, which means I can eat home-cooked food. Himakshi, thank you for that introduction. Uh, good evening, good afternoon, uh, good morning, and good night to wherever you are in the world checking in. My name is Ryan Fernando, and uh, I'm a nutritionist, and I get up every morning thinking, how can I make one more person uh, take care of their health. And before I share my screen and get started, uh, you're an awesome person. You're a beautiful person. You have a beautiful house. You have a beautiful spouse. You have beautiful kids. Uh, you have an awesome laptop. You have an awesome, uh, you know, um, house, vacation, everything. And you're, you know, you're striving in the financial world to get to the next level and acquire this wealth. And for those of you who are from the Indian subcontinent, there was a billionaire investor in India, Rakesh Junjunwala. Whilst he was worth millions or maybe even billions of dollars, uh, I think uh, his premature death um, put a thought process in my head. What's the point of all the wealth that you're trying to accrue if you don't have the health? And today's seminar, I want to be able to give you tips that uh, VIPs come and sit with me and we do these structured sessions. And, you know, most of you are financial individuals and you tell people there are financial instruments and you need to be financially responsible and financially aware. Remove the word finance and just put health in that. So how many of you are actually doing that? And you always say, we'll do it tomorrow. And I think uh, Pankaj got one of the best nutrition counselings ever. I thanked him for waiting nearly three hours for me because I did a podcast and I was like, dude, this guy's really got a lot of patience. But I am so happy that we spent one hour in that car and we talked 
because I changed one person's life that day. And I'm hoping today in this seminar, I at least change one person's life for this effort. And, and the way we change your life is to open up a thought process. What is it that you could do? And here's the thing. New Year's resolutions fail. New Year's resolutions are fashionable. What I need you to do is I need you to start and understand what are the 10, 15 points you could do in 2023. And statistically, there are 365 days. Even if you do 20% of that, four or five points in 2023, it's a start. Like nobody became a chartered accountant by reading one book and became a chartered accountant. So nobody's going to follow a diet plan and become Amir Khan in Dungal with a six pack. There is an effort involved. There is a timeline. And I would hope that when you're in this seminar or you're watching this seminar from wherever you are, I'm going to share with you the tips that I, as a counselor, as a nutritionist, as a genetic counselor, I'm going to give you all the secrets of things that you can do to get started. And I like to call myself a modern day astrologer. So Pankaj already, I've done his astrology. And you'll be like, oh, what did you do? I can already predict his future. He's already five years younger since he joined our program. So uh, because he's five years younger, I've predicted that he's going to have more energy to run to more places in the world. And people are going to be like, wow, where did you get this energy from? Where do you get all this money from? It's like the money didn't come from anywhere. Money came from his energy. So let me see if I can transfer some of that energy to all of you. I'm going to be sharing my screen. Just give me a second and uh, okay, it started in the wrong slide, but we go back anyways. Um, enabling your resolution in 2023 for health and fitness. Uh, I think we can change everything in our life. We can change our cars, we can change our houses, we can change our laptops, we can change our mobiles, uh, you can change your financial accountant, you can change uh, your company, we can change your job. Can you change your human body? So I see people buying Rolexes. I see, I've got one client in Dubai who has eight Rolls Royces. And when the pandemic hit, he's like, what's the use of eight Rolls Royces if I don't have my health because I can't replace my body. So I'm here today to convince you that the biggest asset, the biggest asset and the highest return on any asset is your human body. It is also an asset that can crash and burn if you don't give it the awareness and the time and day of life. So normally what we do is we do basically what is called as a, uh, we do what is called as a new year's resolution. Okay. Uh, and what's your new year's resolution? Oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. And everyone joins up and signs up for the gyms. Uh, there was a research saying that 70% uh, of people signing up on gyms in the first month of January never end up going back to the gyms. It's a business model, right? I do believe the same thing happens for diet plans. So what I've done in my nutrition clinics at Qua is we tell people, don't make a New Year's resolution, right? Instead, pick small goals. And I think most of you finance guys, you'll do this. You'll do small. Don't try and get one lump sum investment at one shot. Do small systematic investment plans. Similarly, I was very happy that Pankaj told me he went out and got a yoga instructor. He already has a gym trainer. But what happens is when you assign yourself to somebody else, if you are a lazy person, that somebody else holds your hand on the journey and takes you forward. Be it a nutritionist, be it a strength and conditioning coach, strength and conditioning coach. Uh, you know, I... I recently tore my left meniscus in karate and I thought my gym trainer was, was fantastic. He is fantastic. But then I went and met this physio from the BCCI and they have this whole sport sports setup and everything. And he did an analysis and he gave me analytical data. And he said, your workout needs to be like this, like this, like this, like this. And I was like, wow. And I signed up for 20 sessions with them on the spot. And he says like, no, 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 we need to convince you. I said, look, listen, I'm convinced because I know if I do this correct, I will not walk with a walking stick at the age of 70. So I'm investing for that now. So don't try and make a single year's resolution, make a lifestyle resolution. 
that's more important okay so let me talk to you about this is what you need to do uh, is you know um, all of you who are finance professionals in here i love to say that you know you have a, a credit and debit nutrition is the same the exercise you do is debit and what you put into your body is credit and the world has too much of credit today i don't know if that happens in the fiscal world i'm not too good in economics but i think in the pandemic we printed too much of money in the pandemic because of printing of too much of money we also i think a lot we ate a lot but the good news is people had more time they did intermittent fasting they exercised by the way those of you listening in if you have questions uh, please type it up in the chat box as i'm going and then himakshi and rudul from my team will collate the best questions and i also promise to answer most of your questions on my instagram profile so what i'll do is even if there are 100 questions over the next 20 30 days i'll start making videos of the question that you asked and try and post it on my profile uh, so the first thing over here is i need you to do is get yourself an exercise wearable apple watch whoop fitbit garmin uh, mi band whatever it is i just need you to track your number of steps that you do in a day because everybody says the exercise but i think the amount that we do as compared to our grandparents is very low so what we eat is too much and therefore our petrol tanks you know so when you when you look at your waistline you want you don't want this waistline to come start expanding out now is this reversible well i did it i did it in 6 months with a guy who used to walk 8 hours a day which was amir khan but i don't know i don't think anyone here has the time to walk 8 hours a day but can we do it consistently in 2023 and how you do that is if you have an exercise tracker and because you're a finance person because you use numbers once you see the numbers and i tell you that 10000 is maintenance so credit and debit account keeps going in and out it's not enough to lose fat fat is your fixed deposit fixed deposit in your petrol tank so i think you need to understand that if you have a greater expenditure sorry sorry greater exercise then you're going to be able to burn if you do conservation which is lesser input lesser deposits which is of your food chances are things like intermittent fasting will also help you lose fat but you may lose muscle also so what i say is the balance sheet of nutrition in everybody for pankaj for himakshi for lakshay for everybody out here listening in you need to understand that no book out there your neighbors following one diet chart you should follow it your sisters doing something your brothers doing something oh baba ramdev said that uh, baba ryan said this so nothing like that when people come to me it's like ryan please give me a diet plan i'm like sure give me your blood test give me this give me that like are why are you doing so much of headache for me just tell me what to eat i was like no your body is a brilliant piece of mechanics so you need to understand the bio individuality of that body and accordingly prescribe nutrition uh, and how do i do this i do it with genetic testing gene testing is massive right now globally many people rubbish it i have been using it successfully for 5 years and had had success with celebrities because like for example in pankaj did his gene test and i told him hey boss you can't eat this food uh, because uh, it doesn't agree with you and he's like oh but i ate that food all my life i was like because you ate it out of love and culture now you're learning science and science is telling you that this jodi this lock and key is not working So he's like, okay, let me try and give it up. So then you give it up, and then you say, okay, what's the difference? Well, check your resting heart rate. Check if you're losing weight. You know, uh, we also do um, the weighing scale, and I'll come to that shortly. How a simple weighing scale is not a true measure of your health, but you need a little bit of an advanced weighing scale. Blood test. <coughs> Excuse me. How many of you have done a blood test? Does the blood test include your cholesterol profile, liver profile, kidney profile, vitamin A, uh, B12, vitamin D? In fact, when Pankaj came to me, I was like, I want B1, B2, B6, B9, B12, A, C, D. And then he's looking at me, he's like, Hey, you want to know all of this stuff? I said, Yes, I don't want to know this stuff. I want you to know this stuff. Because let's say there's a vitamin B6 low in your body. Vitamin B6 is so responsible for mental fatigue. so what if you're tired all the time and maybe it's just a b one of the b complex deficiencies right then there's a microbiome test 
uh, which is a poop sample, a stool sample. We check the bacteria in that. So people have gut problems. I'm sure a lot of you have gut problems, ulcers, you have gastritis, you have ulcerative colitis, Crohn's, acidity, regurgitation, reflux, BP, all linked to the gut. A simple test could be to do your poop analysis. And we have had people who have had 20 years of this. And it's like, Ari, Ryan, you've done a miracle. You are in three months. My everything has changed. We didn't do anything. We just figure out what wrong stuff you were putting in. And that jagada, that fight that was happening inside your uh, intestine was because your body is like, dude, I don't like this brand of food and you're feeding it to me. And then we do the omega balance test, which checks the omega-3 to omega-6, which not many people in the world are doing, but from a longevity and anti-aging point of view, those of you who want to live to 100 um, and enjoy your wealth that you create in your 20s, 30s, and 40s, I would say to you, start now in terms of understanding the omega-3 to omega-6. Who's omega? Omega is like one family in the fats in the human body. So there is this khandan, there is a family of fats, good fat, bad fat. In the good fats, you do have omega-3, omega-6, and omega-9. The omega-3s are the billionaires, like in your body. So you like want more omega-3, but unfortunately, we have got all the omega-6s, which are the inflammatory, the, the what I call as the gundas, the jagada guys, the guys that create inflammation in your body. So you get a balance between these two. So by the way, you can actually Google this up on yourself and ask, why should I do an omega-3 balance test? What is the difference between omega-3 and omega-6? But the simple logic that you need to understand is you need to have a higher omega-3 ratio. Now a balanced diet, you know, people do wacky diets, keto diet, paleo diet, uh, you know, the Atkins diet, and then the GM diet. And then so, so many types of things. Somebody came up with the cabbage diet, the WhatsApp diet. We do genetics and figure out what is the right way for you to eat because all of these other diets are marketing gimmicks that are so-called nutritionists, dietitians who promote something or doctors that promote it. But I genuinely believe, and, and this will be echoed over the next 20 years. I, I was doing uh, nutrigenomic testing and microbiome testing and uh, omega-3 testing about a decade back. And doctors would rubbish it. This is the future. Personalized nutrition has been there. So when you approach a resolution, do not do a diet. First, get the data. What does your body respond to from your blood test? What is your body composition? That is the fat and muscle in you. What is your lifestyle? There's no point fire, fire, following a diet chart if you live as a bachelor in Dubai or in Oman or in, uh, in London because you're going to eat out all the time. So we need to figure out first if that's going to be your lifestyle, what are the small things that you could do? Uh, for example, I had a broker in London and he was eating out breakfast, lunch, dinner. So all I did was um, get him to join a gym I made sure that the meal after his workout was the most nutritious. So we found a caterer and a, and a healthy startup that would get the right meal to him. I reduced one meal in the day, which was lunch, gave him a early dinner after his workout at five o'clock in the evening. And we gave him a breakfast and snack in the day. So the breakfast was the only thing that he was ordering from out, but we changed it into a protein smoothie and he would eat lunch three times a week, which was kind of, we told him, eat this, eat that. And this is the portion you need to eat. So what I feel is that diet is a very negative term. Instead, it should be your meal plan or nutrition plan. And by the way, ask yourself this question. Do you eat scientifically or do you eat out of love and culture and stress? Most of us eat out of love. Most of us eat out of culture. Most of us eat out of stress. There's never science involved. Yesterday, my servant was serving everything in the kitchen for us and uh, she was uh, doing a great job but then I went in and I'm uh, I'm wearing a what you call is a I don't know if you can see this I'm wearing the CGM device now I don't have diabetes but I'm very interested to see what food so I told her measure 100 broccoli 100 white rice 100 uh, prawn curry uh, 100 uh, butterhead lettuce and 100 grams of something else I was eating oh lady fingers right 
So that was a lot of calories. And I was watching when I do unknown portions versus known portions. Is there a difference in spike? And I can tell you there's a difference in spike. So that's science for you. And a lot of these experiments, sometimes people are too lazy to figure it out. So you need somebody like me to guide you. But I do genuinely believe that the 100 plus of you in the listening in and the people who are watching this recording, the biggest experiment you can do in life is on your own life. And the quicker you do this experiment and the quicker you come to conclusions at a younger age, these are the foods or these are the exercises that agree with you. That's what you can go forward on a lots of success. So for example, um, Lots of people say, oh, I don't need carbohydrates. I'll eliminate carbohydrates and I'll lose weight. People have a certain gene in them that if you give carbohydrate and this gene is in the red, then they'll gain weight. But there are people who think, oh, I need to take a high protein diet and you get a moderate response from protein. And as a result, their so-called trainer or so-called nutritionist is putting a lot of protein into them if they are vegetarians, which most vegetarians do. And then over a 10 year period, they are mucking up their liver and kidney. So by knowing your blood test once or twice a year, taking your genetics and the genetics says, oh, thumbs up, you can take protein, more protein. Or your genetics is saying, oh, 50-50, I don't think you should take more than one gram per kg body weight of protein. So if I'm 70 kgs, I need only 70 grams of protein a day. So please keep asking me your question. I'm seeing participants raising your hand. Put your questions in the chat box, okay? So we have the weight loss or weight gain gene with exercise. And I think I did this for Pankaj. And, you know, when I do it for a lot of people and they come to know that, hang on, I don't lose weight with exercise. I don't have the gene in me that's going to like lati charge the fat out of my mouth. So what should I do, Mr. Ryan? I'm like, you need to focus more on the dal, chawal, roti, the bread, butter, rice, the food that you put into you, the desserts that you put into you. That's where that awareness comes from a nutrition gene test. Now, why does this happen? Okay. I, I made a different presentation for this group because you all are all numbers, guys. You know, when we were younger, I'm 47 years of age. Uh, so I'm, I'm thinking a lot of you may be close to my age, but a lot of you may be also younger than me. Uh, so those of you who grew up in India, if you remember the Durdashan time, uh, we got TV only on Sunday to watch kind of thing. And today you can binge watch Netflix, right? So I actually don't watch a lot of TV uh, because I think I'm not used to so much of TV. But here's what I want to comment to you. If we went out when I was young, we went out once a week, maybe once in two weeks. But today, we are eating out more often because of the e-commerce apps. Husband and wife both are working. Uh, there's no time. Order food from out. Children have pestering power. They pester you to order pizza, burger, uh, Chinese food, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Each one of us here, if we start a restaurant business and I'm your business partner, I will say, Mr. Pankaj, let's start a restaurant. We will make organic onions, organic rice, organic this, organic. Then Pankaj will say, Bye, Ryan, be realistic. The cost of your omelet will be 700 rupees or $50. Nobody will buy that omelet. So all restaurants procure at the lowest cost and try and have the highest selling price, which is where your profitability comes in. I'm not a good accountant or anything like that. I'm a nutritionist, but I do understand balance sheet at the end of the day. My point to you is this, the statistics by which you cheat on your diet and the statistics by which you order from outside will increase the amount of what I call as the bad food coming into your blood. That is the problem. So one, try and become a Tiffin person. So in India, those of you who are coming from other parts of the world, in India, we have this very nice concept called Tiffin. All of us carry Tiffins to work, which are three layered boxes of heated food cooked in the morning and we take it to office and we eat lunch. But if you see today, the Tiffin carrier is kind of dying out because everyone wants to order in the office and eat out because our disposable income has gone up so much. It's okay to spend $10 on a meal and eat it out for lunch. What I'm asking you, is that $10 of worthwhile value to your body? Because only your taste buds are having an orgasm. Your stomach is rebelling against you very, very highly. 
So keep this in mind. You're eating out too often. Maybe you could get tiffin. By the way, I don't know if you know this. All restaurants cook mostly in palm oil because it's flavorless, doesn't flavor the food, very high heat temperature. But it is the reason we are having the highest number of heart attacks in the history of mankind. Palm oil is clogging up people's arteries. Palm oil is being used even in five-star restaurants. Palm oil can be reheated. Palm oil, when reheated, is clogging and forming literally sewage blocks or plaque blocks inside your arteries. So if people say, why are more people dying of heart attack? It's dude, because you're eating more outside. And the eating off outside, the restaurants have shift, shifted to palm oil. And it is evident. You ask anyone who goes to the Middle East, most of the food is produced in palm oil over there. India has waived its duty on palm oils to drop the essential prices. And because they've dropped the import duty, more it's become cheaper. So the restaurant profitability, I ran a food startup in Bangalore called ITFIN. I still remember my chef saying to me, sir, olive oil, sir, what's wrong with you, sir? I can get 4x profitability if I change to Dalda. And I was like, dude, the ITFIN concept is a healthy subscription meal plan. So I want to give an option of rice bran oil coconut oil on one day and olive oil on another day. I do not want uh, palm oil. And by the way, when you do the omega-3 to the omega-9 test, whoever eats outside, you will get you will get a spike in your omega-9. So when I want to convince a person or I want to behave like a magician, I do that test. I look at my client and say, hmm, you're probably eating out all seven days a week. You're like, Mr. Fernando, how do you know that? I said, okay, but your blood test tells it to me. So this is very important, okay? Um, all of us are stressed out. Even I'm very stressed out. I do work quite a lot. I am building um, an amazing brand called Qua Nutrition. It's been on for 11 years. Uh, I like to call us the Porsche of uh, uh, nutritionist. Uh, and I do work very stressful hours. I do work in one position. I'm sitting most of the time. You also uh, are in a profession which you're a go-getter. Go, 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 go. Eight hours is normal for all of us in this audience. I'm sure that everyone in this audience is pushing 11, 12, 13 hours. And I don't know about you, but I work six days a week. So my point is, if I have to take care of my body, how do I do it? The trainer, the yoga instructor, and my diet. These are two invincible investments towards you working eight to 10 hours without damaging your body over the next two decades. Remember, you can't change, you can change your car, but you can't change your body. So you need to go for daily maintenance. By the way, the brain is made up of 60% of fat. So here's my first million dollar tip to you. 50% of this fat consists of omega-3. So your, your profession is using your brains first. So I want you to have beautiful bodies. I want you to have six pack. I want you to go to the gym. But the first guy you need to take care of is your brain. Because if you are depressed, if you are not motivated, it's because your brain is fatigued. To improve your fatigue from your brain, you need to find foods that are good in omega-3, okay? And that for me is walnut, chia seed, salmon, and flaxseed. If you can, and again, people ask me in the question, how much should I eat? Now, I'm a skinny 70 kgs, so I need to eat only two walnuts. But if you're 90 kgs, maybe you need four walnuts. If you're a vegetarian, like Mr. Pankaj, then you will not be having salmon. So I got to find a vegetarian source. So you get seaweed extract omega-3 from the ocean. Actually, the fish eat that. The salmon eat that. So we want to go to the manufacturers who, who harvest the seaweed, take out the omega oil from the ocean, from the seaweed, and give it as a vegan omega-3 supplement. So you could do an omega-3 supplement uh, for stress busting. Okay. If you're not paying attention to me, or, or, or um, the, the 360 TF team, if you're going to make a promotional video of this, please cut out this slide. Chamomile tea, in my opinion, is the number one thing that's going to give you deep sleep. And it's a cancer preventer. And if you're doing hard workouts, reduces muscle soreness. I can't tell you how many dabbas of different types of chamomile tea I have in my house. It's a flower. One in a million people will have an allergy to this flower. You make it at night, you can have it hot, you can have it cold, you can put it into any other beverage also and have. 
but chamomile tea is something that's going to de-stress you and detox you. And I don't know how many women are in this audience, but ladies, if you're listening in, a strand of saffron, husbands, you should be making the chamomile tea for your wife at night. Okay, this will this will be like, Are your wife will be like, Are Pankaj ji, what a beautiful husband. You work so hard, then you come home and make me a cup of tea before going to bed. In the wife's tea, you put a strand of saffron. Research has shown saffron reduces anxiety and depression in females during their monthly cycles. Right? So you heard that tip here first from Ryan Fernando. Blueberries, if you're buying blueberries, so uh, I always take Pankaj's example because he's reflecting on my screen over here. I was like, Pankaj, don't buy normal blueberries. Buy organic blueberries. Ladies and gentlemen, all berries, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, Every berry has got, even grapes, have got a lot of pesticides sprayed on it. Think, think logically. It's a sweet fruit, sweet berry. So a lot of insects will come towards. So what manufacturers do, they spray copious amounts of pesticide. It is called the dirty dozen. There are a dozen berries in the world that have high pesticide levels. And oh, Ryan Fernando said, eat berries. But try and source organic berries, which is very difficult if you live in non-growing countries of berries. So what I do, I buy dried organic berries. Please do that. People ask, what about the sugar content? Hey, you're worried about the sugar content of blueberries when that side you're driving to the ice cream shop and eating two, two cups of ice cream like this. In the olden days, they used to serve one scoop. Have you gone to Starbucks and seen the size of their jugs? It is to promote consumption. Have you gone to a biryani restaurant? The biryani is served in any restaurant. I have done the research. Is, is in an Indian place, is required to feed three people. But you don't make money when you charge below a dollar for a biryani. You need to charge three dollars. If you are in Dubai, I don't know what's the rate of a biryani, but you can't give a small portion. And if you give a small portion, then people start arguing with you. What? You think I can't eat more. But trust me and listen to me on this. If you eat lesser, you will live longer. If you eat lesser, you will have a lesser carbon footprint on the planet. You want to save the planet? Start eating less. The human race is eating too much. Instead, devote your energy into figuring out how your mind can work better because your mind controls your stomach. Pumpkin seeds are really good. Uh, if you come to my office, there'll be these small containers on my desk. There's pumpkin seeds, there's a little bit of pistas. And so I kind of like, I'm a snacker. So it's very dangerous. So I keep very little quantity because I can, you know, in a day, if I get stressed out, I eat the whole container. So if you're a stressed out eater, don't keep pumpkin seeds, watermelon seeds, sunflower seeds, and pistas and almonds and walnuts on your desk because you'll keep eating it. Instead, ask somebody to pack it in a Ziploc and what you need to eat every day. Only that is kept on your desk. Uh, giving you a few of my secrets. If you are craving chocolate, you need magnesium. There's a magnesium deficiency. If you are craving sugar, you have one of these deficiencies of chromium, tryptophan, phosphorus, or sulfur. If you're craving oily foods, batata vada, samosa, french fries, you have a deficiency of calcium. If you're craving salty foods, you have a deficiency of chloride and silicon. The moment people follow my nutrition plan for three months, they say, Ryan, cravings are gone. How is that possible? You weren't eating scientifically. So your body was trying to send you signals. And then you're like, okay, cake, 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 ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. So figure this out, please. By the way, I'm making this presentation available to everyone. You just got to contact the 360 degree uh, TF team uh, on LinkedIn. Send them a message and hopefully they'll have the presentation. Or you can find me on, um, you can find me on LinkedIn also. And my team will see how we can send the presentation across to you. A lot of ladies do this. I gained weight. Let me skip meals. If you do it consistently, you skip dinner, but you do it consistently for 90 days. That's correct. One, two days, and then third day you eat again, you create imbalances in your sugar, which causes the body like, oh, this guy is not going to feed me. This lady is not going to feed me. Uh, let me do something. I will store the next meal that comes as fat. So skipping a meal actually stores more body fat. So please don't do it. I want to educate everyone in this session about weight. If you see there are three ladies in this picture, it could be three men also. Look at their faces. Can you see one is smiling? 
But can you see the weight? All are 54.8, 54.8, 54.8. 8. But look at the body fat percentage, 22.6, 15.8, 31.5. When you do a weight check, you want to know your body fat percentage. And by the way, the higher your body fat percentage, so all of these actual age of these women is 30 years of age. But when their fat percentage goes up, their metabolic age is 35. So I'd like to I'd like to say to you that I am 47 years of age, but my metabolic age is 33. So let me share a story with you. Mr. Vishnu Pai was 72 years old, came to me uh, uh, during the pandemic. Mr. Vishnu Pai at 72 had diabetes and he had his toe amputated. So his son was my client. He says, "Put my, my I need my dad on a plan. So he came very grumblingly on Zoom, like, yeah, oh, you want me to follow a diet at 72, whatever I do. So I said, sir, what do you do? He says, I'm a chemical consultant. Sir, if you don't mind, how much do you earn? He says, I earn one crore a year as, as a consultant. I was like, sir, wow. So why are you coming to me? No, doctor says, if I don't do this, then I have to amputate my leg and I will die in another two, three years. So like, okay. This is, you're giving me a huge task. I said, okay, let's start working. So we worked on his diet, exercise, everything, everything, everything. Now his body age was 73 and he was a 72 year old. So cut short to 10 months later, this guy walked 15,000 steps a day in his house with his uh, amputated toe. And then he was on uh, insulin. Then insulin came down. We corrected it. We put a patch on him and he was fully motivated. Then he started doing exercise, weight training in his house and everything. 10 months later, he dropped 11. So he was 100 kgs and he had to be uh, 80. Uh, he had to be 78 kgs. So he dropped in 10 months, 11 kgs of fat. His body age went from 73 to 69. His son called me up uh, that uh, the day after this counseling, 10 months later, Ryan Fernando, thank you. My father is like telling me, you need to take better care of me to his son. So my, his son asked, why pa? He says, now Mr. Fernando has made me 69, 69 to 72. I've got 12 more years of earning of one crore. So I am now worth 15 crores more. Think about it. You are the breadwinner in your family. The younger your metabolic age, and as you gain experience, the more valuable you become. So if there's any reason for you to take care of your health, it's to find out your metabolic age which is based on your fat percentage and visceral fat and start working on that data number from 2023. If I have to end the seminar today, this is my one give up. Know your fat percentage, know your metabolic age and then become younger. So at 33 years of age, I feel like a million bucks. So when I go to the gym, the trainer hands me the dumbbell. It's like, sir, I wanted to do 12 reps. I'm going 33, 32, 33, 32, 33, 32. Why? Because I want to be younger to enjoy what I do, which is my career, which is my family, which is everything around me. Oh, by the way, fat cells remain in your body for 8.4 years. So it is like a, I don't know, um, um, like a, a government bond. If I would like to say you invest in a government bond, it gets locked in. And for 8.4 is a triple A rating. Fat is like that. Fat is triple A rating. He says, boss, I'm not going anywhere. I am a good investment. You've eaten all the dalda, palm oil. Eh? You had a nice party in Goa, full alcohol, everything. I got it converted. I did some exchange rate with your alcohol and converted to fat very quickly. Once it is stored, no, boss, don't worry. Good returns, 8.2 years. Don't worry. Now, guess what? You come to Ryan Fernando. Sir, my chartered accountant told me, that is your doctor, Doctor told me to lose this fat. It is causing diabetes, heart attack, everything and all that. Lose fat, lose fat. Sir, three months I have to lose weight. Ryan Fernandez said, like, sir, you will lose it. The fat cell right now is that big. Triple A bond, it's very good return. For, it's, it's, it's guaranteed, gold sovereign like. Now suddenly you come to Ryan Fernando. Ryan Fernando devises ways to enhance your debit note and everything and all of that diet, exercise. Chuk, 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 chuk. Now suddenly this fat cell becomes very small. Please keep in mind, government, sorry, your body has told, I have a lock-in period, 8.4 years. You can reduce the size of this volume of fat in your cell. So guess what, Mr. Pankaj, if you decide to get off your plan next year, that cell has not disappeared for 8.4 years. So you need to be disciplined for 8.4 years such that the tenure of your fat cell dies out 
and because you're so healthy you have invested in another government bond which is muscle that muscle is age reversible and that you want to grow in size so even when you're 80 years of old between 40 and 80 you're not losing muscle you're keeping a your muscle you're gaining a muscle and fat is like boss invest in me i'm giving you good returns i'll give you diabetes i'll give you hypertension i'll give you plaque i'll give you death no problem your family can enjoy the insurance policy so please understand no slimming clinic no doctor will tell you that the fat resides in you. so all of you are like disappointed after doing a diet plan for 6 months are beta it is not 6 months it's an 8.4 year plan so please remember this and i hope i've opened up your eyes today that you need to be invested for a decade in your health your diet and your exercise okay so i'm going to give you one secret those of you who are not wanting to invest in a trainer like mr pankaj go and walk if you see this bar over here the red means fat and the gold means carbohydrate people who walk yoga and weight lift burn the highest amount of fat in their exercise as you increase the intensity to high running so i see you know i go to the gym and i see all these aunties running on the treadmill madam madam please don't run no no sir i need to burn more fat i need to sweat you're losing water walking and yoga and weight lifting are the best fat burning exercises please trust me on this i have helped thousands of people lose body fat because i'm tracking them on a weighing scale that not only measures weight it also measures fat percentage what are the fat burning foods apple cucumber apricot if i meet you in an airport in london as like hello mr fernando i attended your uh, 360 tf uh, uh, seminar i'm like show me your bag when i open your bag i should see an apple or i should see a cucumber and airports allow you to carry apple and cucumber in your bag okay uh, they don't allow you to carry a fruit peeler many times i forget to remove my fruit peeler they confiscate my fruit peeler so i'm like bye how will i peel my apple so one day a security guard asked me sir you are nutritionist no why you need to peel apple Hey sir do you know something that apple has wax coating on it that wax coating is not organic it goes in my stomach and does kujli and does thappad so in the flight i get uh, i get stomach pain and uh, when i land in the flight i have to go for potty oh okay still i can't allow you to take the fruit peeler so i try and buy organic apples without the wax coating local apples Uh, but if you do i uh, have an apple in the olden days our grandparents would eat the skin i would say peel the skin if it's got a wax coating uh fat burning foods cinnamon dalchini uh if you can stomach cinnamon you don't get mouth ulcers you don't get blisters you don't get heat boils uh, up to 1 teaspoon of cinnamon a day is known to reduce belly fat by 5% in a study i personally when i take cinnamon i get acidity so it's kind of a 50 50 you need to try it out and see if it works with you you can do cinnamon capsules green tea is amazing i was working at a fortune 500 company with a clinic in a fortune 500 company so there was a company in bangalore that had 10000 employees and they said mr fernando we want your qua nutrition to be based inside our, our premises for our employees and whoever wants to the, the employees the family want to come and take a diet plan the company is going to pay for it you guys need to be available to give the service i said great so i did a little bit of research and i found out all the tea coffee machines in the office and then i did i put up a small chart in front of each tea coffee machine and they were really happy about it because i actually dropped the consumption of milk tea and milk coffee by 80% in this organization why because i showed a graph if you do one cup of coffee with milk and sugar your weight gain is 1.8 kgs or something per year and most people in that organization were drinking four cups of tea or coffee milk a day so their weight gain per year was 7.5 kgs because of tea and coffee because of the sugar and the milk and then below that i wrote green tea black tea black coffee no milk no sugar weight gain 0 0 0 and then on the side i wrote in fact you may burn more fat as a result the consumption in that organization went down drastically and the hr admin actually told me you know what the green tea we were doing like 400 tea bags uh, a month we went up to 45000 tea bags a month so i was like but that's not right you have only 10000 which is like yeah people are probably lifting up their green tea sachets and taking it home with them also so that's the power of green tea by the way chartered accountants financial honchos who work late nights 
Green tea contains caffeine. So don't drink too much of tea and coffee after six o'clock in the evening. Do chamomile tea. But green tea is known to promote creative thinking. Pankaj, if I were you, I'd find the best green tea when your team, when your team is brainstorming. Don't boil the tea. Five dips of the tea bag and you get a halka green tea, which is not bitter. I'm doing that over here in my cup. So I can drink three, four cups of green tea, which promote alpha wave thinking, which is the creative thinking. So for those of you who need your teams to perform, green tea could be a nice thing. Apple cider vinegar helps in fat burning, agrees with some people. Do it with my dietitians at my team. They'll prescribe the correct dose for you. Okay. Um, by the way, those of you who have children, uh, the, the hottest topic for the last decade is my child is short. How can I make my child grow taller? Our children are eating junk food. Our children are not eating enough in school. Our schools are getting longer and not feeding the kids better. Kids are getting fussier because they don't want to eat in school because the toilets are dirty. They don't want to pee and potty in school. So from eight o'clock in the morning till two o'clock or four o'clock, they're not eating enough. They're all stunted. I know this because I am a pediatric nutritionist. I work with dozens of at any given time i prefer children over adults adults are very cranky children listen to you so i work with children and the game plan is they're all into sports and when they get onto a nutrition plan and i do a blood test for a child who's into above 12 years of age i found out that calcium and vitamin d is very low so what i suggest to you is instead of doing a blood test do a gene test which is a saliva swab or a saliva spit sample and come to know the nutritional deficiencies in your children and then find those foods and feed those to your children. If you say your children are fussy, I've got a tip. My son goes to a dietitian. He doesn't listen to his father and mother. Never mind that his father is a celebrity nutritionist. Children don't listen to their parents, but they listen to their teachers. They listen to the coaches. Get your kid a nutritionist and go and sit with your kid and say, uh, you know what? Last week, my son had four ice creams. Let the child answer to the nutritionist. It's amazing to watch those discussions. The kid will be like, no, I, then the dad should, okay, you had four ice creams. Maybe next, next week, would you like to do some, go out and play and then burn off that and then explain what an ice cream is 70%. And people have come back and said, the, sh the kids are shifting towards a healthier option of dessert or lesser uh, amount of sugar in the dessert or lesser times of dessert. So please work with your children. This chart will, will be available in the presentation. You can use it to map the age of your child in the bottom, if you see over here. So my kid is 10 years of age and he's a boy. Okay. And his weight is around. Uh, so this is for the height. So he's around 138 centimeters. So he's just above the 75 uh, percentile somewhere over here. So I keep tracking his height as he's growing and seeing whether he's dropping down or he's going up. By the way, this is something you can do as a parent yourself. Um, print out this and give it to your kids. Okay. Um, the, the superheroes, uh, cucumber, broccoli, and green beans is something to become incredible Hulk. Uh, I do do children seminars. Also, I do do children workshop. My children workshops have been hits across the world. Uh, samples of it are there on YouTube on how I convince children who never eat vegetables to go back home and ask my parents for vegetables. So the idea is to educate your kid about nutrition rather than fight them about Karela is good. By the way, parents, if you're feeding your kids Karela, don't do it. Yeah, it's bitter. They don't need it. But kids, if you're listening in, uh, cucumber, broccoli. Broccoli is like a superhero. Uh, it's an absolute atomic bomb in terms of nutrition. It's like the blaster. It's mega blaster. Uh, for all of you, immunity boosting foods, amla. I just want to share one thing about amla. The, pharmaceuti oh. the pharmaceutical industry uh, is stifling amla because it reduces bad cholesterol by up to 35 points. If amla agrees with your tummy, you can buy organic amla powder and every morning take one teaspoon and measure your blood test on month one and three months later. You'll find your skin improve and you'll find that your cholesterol also drops. This is a research paper. By the way, amla fresh is great. One in thousand people will have an amla allergy. They don't, they get more sore throats and all. Don't do that. Guava, I can't tell you that lycopene is anti-cancer in guava and guava has the highest vitamin C after amla. So these are all the guys. Garlic boosts your immune system. If you can have this in your diet every day, 
chances of you getting a cough, cold, and fever are bare minimal. The supplements you can take to boost your immunity in this period where people are suspecting a second or third or fifth wave, God knows which wave of COVID, vitamin D, vitamin C, zinc, and acetylcysteine and glutamine. I have created separate presentations on the internet. You can type up Ryan Fernando on COVID uh, immune protocols. There are lovely videos of me talking about the nutritional supplementations that you can take. Again, please take all of this under your doctor's advice or come to my coordination clinic and we'll bio-individually plan it for you based on your blood test, based on your height, weight, body fat percentage, et cetera, et cetera. Healthy foods whilst you work, dry fruits. Uh, my favorite is walnut and pistas. Um, I would keep a protein powder rather than eat a pizza at office. Now, I know you're tired, you're working hard and you want your taste buds to rule you. But remember, I have a client who's 65, but he can't climb into his Porsche because he ate too many pizzas, burgers in his trading days on Wall Street. And he's an Indian guy. So the genetics pick, you have so much of obesity. And now he's like, dude, I have a Porsche, but I can't even sit in it correctly. So understand the balance sheet in your life. Understand the foods are designed to tempt you and they're not nutritious. By the way, once you move on to a nutritious plan, I can promise you in a three-year period of cleaning up your taste bud and your gut, when you eat a food that you thought you loved, which is high in fat and high in sugar, you 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 will actually actually feel revolts because you're all your cells in your body now vibrating at a different frequency. Which is why a lot of my clients complain, Ryan, I have to change my friend circle because I can no longer party with those friends who want to finish one bottle of whiskey. So that's a genuine side effect of changing your health for the better. You tend to lose friends because unless your friends get off the nutrition plan with you. So find triathlete groups, find running groups, find hiking groups, find groups that are involved in, you know, uh, workouts, et cetera, et cetera. These are my favorites, walnuts, chamomile tea, pomegranate juice. By the way, I, I know I'm, I'm running short on time, but I want to give you this tip. Uh, Bunker just paid a lot of investment to get this seminar done for all of you. Pomegranates, research has shown pomegranates reduce plaque formation by 35%. For anyone who has cholesterol in this seminar or watching this recording, your arteries are there. Plaque is the deposits which make it tinier and tinier and tinier and it close up. And that's where you get heart attack with the plaque around those, those blood vessels going to your heart. The research was done with pomegranate seeds and pomegranate juice over a one-year period. Plaque formation reduced by 35%. Meaning what? Not prevent plaque. Clean up. So those of you who know people with on statins and cholesterol problem, cholesterol is coming because your diet is bad, but at least add pomegranate to your diet. In fact, I, I remember joking with Pankaj when I met him last time, I said, Pankaj, you need to buy a pomegranate farm so that whenever your clients come to visit you, you gift them one basket of pomegranate. They'll ask why. It's like, this is the gold uh, uh, currency of the future. Okay, so that's that's the value of pomegranate. You can do seeds powder or amla powder. That really helps. And uh, if those of you are very busy, don't have a kitchen, you can just keep that in your office desk and all. And if you want a list of healthy foods, I come up with these tips every day on my Instagram profile or every third or fourth day. And I kind of give this information out there. I can't say much about smoking. It's bad. You know it. I know it. I had a story once wherein... Uh, I did the blood test of an entire family and the 12 year old daughter had high arsenic levels. And I know as a nutritionist that arsenic comes from smoke. So I cordoned off the girl and I said, you're smoking. She broke down in my counseling room. Long story short, I found out that the passive smoking of the arsenic lying in her father and mother's lungs began to contaminate the house and enter her bloodstream also. So there is a genuine link between, oh, I don't smoke in front of my family. Ganta. For those of you who are international, Ganta means bell. Okay. So ring the bell and try and convince anybody else about smoking. It does not work. Uh, I've seen, I have had clients for a decade, two decades. They've ended up with cancer. Uh, I've had one of my designers 
die of a heart attack on 1st january my finance controller in my company died of a heart attack and i was like i can't tell his name publicly but like sir stop smoking he did give up smoking but he gave up smoking too late he already had a stent so i'm just telling people that if you're not going to do it for yourself do it for your family do it for your family and and uh, the spouses that are there the children that are listening in if the parent is smoking i give you full permission to take a stick and hit your parent do it because uh, somebody needs a, to give a person a wake up call do not self prescribe supplements i know a lot of people dose themselves with giloy ashwagandha oh ginseng is good oh ryan fernandez said to take amla powder i'm going to blah 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 and then you get a side effect and go to doctor doctors who told you to do this you self prescribed it no i listen to one guru no 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 you need to have a plan by the way i teach dietitians and nutritionists across the world in institutenutrition.com on supplements most of us come out of colleges not studying nutritional supplements it is a marketing it is a marketing development in the last two decades and there's no factual subject science in any nutrition college on an amla on a coenzyme q10 on a protein powder you got to learn this when you come out with research papers so what i do i do know with olympic level athletes if i give a protein powder if i give a vitamin i give multivitamin i get enhanced performance but in a person like me or pankaj or you enhancement is not what we need what we need is nutrition and first we should get it from the diet if you are indisciplined in your diet so there's a statement i use supplements are a nutritional convenience for your nutritional indiscipline so if you are indisciplined you need supplements but if you are disciplined in your diet in your fruit in your portion control you don't need this by the way you can find me on instagram uh facebook uh linkedin i'm there on linkedin also and i've got a youtube channel uh, i'll be sending the presentation you can click on these links and it will take you directly to that I decided to offer everyone who came in and listened to me on a Saturday 15 minute free call not with me but with my Kwan nutritionist and Pankaj can vouch that my team is one of the best in the world um you can fill in the form register select the date and time and we'll get you a call back to explain to you you can discuss what is your problem in 15 minutes hi this problem have this problem but you probably have a phone that's worth more than 200 dollars on your desk you have a computer that's worth more a thousand more than a thousand dollars on a desk you're probably wearing a watch that's a thousand dollars uh and you probably drive a car that's probably fifty thousand dollars maybe spend a little bit of money on your trainer and your nutritionist and don't be miserly on this because trust me three years later this will be the best return on the investment if you comply and by the way I still remember telling Pankaj, when you have the trainer, you've paid the person, so you're going to turn up. You're going to turn up for your yoga class. You're going to turn up for your gym session. Your nutritionist calls you, even if you're free, like okay, okay, I'll answer. Yes, madam, I didn't follow this week, but then suddenly you feel guilty for the next four days. You follow something. Four days following is better than zero days following. So counseling, working with somebody, being accountable, and I and I will start taking questions now. And when you get this link. if the if the team both my quantitation team and the 360 tf team could share this link in your linkedin profile then people can register because what we want to do is we want to at least put the kida to put the spark in your head that you need to take care of your health you know so i would love for everyone to uh, to do this uh, today and uh, let's get cracking on um, let's get cracking on the questions that can come in um Himakshi, yes. are you? Thank are you, you so happy? much. Yes, thank you so much, Ryan. There was an interesting session. Uh, I love cucumber, so there's uh, not saying any nose to cucumber anymore, and uh, no, 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 no any more nose to bell peppers as well. Uh, we'll take up the first question from Mr. Rakesh Sa, coming from Dubai, uh, and he's in Dubai since past eight years. He says, "Why are young Indians, uh, you know, from the age of forty to fifty?" are uh, dying in gym during workouts is nutrition uh, important to maintain while engaging in workout regime um to rakesh and every indian that is there on this call it's a global call uh post the vaccination i've seen that uh, the myocardial instances are higher because of the maybe the spike protein number one number two people are working longer hours if you see 
they like you if you, i remember when i used to go to the office i would not come back home and do nutrition consulting because no patient wanted to see me on zoom but today even your bosses or your colleagues or your teams want to meet you after us pankaj is is kind of nodding his head in agreement because he's like morning to night whichever part of the world so that additional stress is contributing now what we need to do you not you should not stop working out but i in bangalore delhi and bombay have found a japanese healthcare firm in fact i told pankaj next time he's in bangalore he has to do the health checkup uh, it's called nura so what nura does is does a head to toe uh, low radiation ct scan of everything so i did my heart and every time i worked out i was getting scared like mr rakesh thinking i'm 47 shit am i going to get a heart attack i was like oh my heart is reach 155 kumar sir just go slow when i did the ct scan they found no blocks they did the treadmill test and then i talked to my cardiologist he says dude you can run like an ox uh, you are nothing's going to happen to you the people who are collapsing from a heart attack is because they have not done this health checkup they are not aware that there is a plaque a block or a clot so normally when we do a blood test it's hdl which is the good cholesterol it should be high ldl vldl c reactive protein homocysteine lipoprotein a and lipoprotein b you'll have the recording of this so you can rewind it these are the blood markers to check and if they are high then the next level is to do the low radiation ct scan or go to your cardiologist who will do the complete check up and nowadays the cardiologists are entertaining people to do that and once you do that start running start playing squash and do all of that the other point is nutrition is contributing to the heart attacks because people are ordering from out and then eating and working and the palm oil which i discussed all of that stuff so bring in pomegranate bring in amla for your heart if your doctor prescribes a statin thumbs up please add a coenzyme q10 supplement along with your statin that will reduce your fatigue it's scientifically documented by some of the best cardiologists in the world in this part of the world they don't recommend coenzyme q10 because the statin is 4 rupees and the coenzyme q10 is 30 rupees so people are like why are you expect why are you giving me a nutritional supplement but you need the combination of both final point when you work out wear an exercise variable you don't need to run like usain bolt you need to do yoga you need to so i see what happens when i go to the gym 32 32 i am trying to compete with guys who are half my age so that is that that is why the men are collapsing because they think they are james bond i think i am james bond right so let's take it easy we want to lift till 100 let the youngsters do all the crossfit and everything those who are plus 40 get fitter get stronger into your 50th decade where you begin to enjoy life and how do you enjoy life you you party in florida you party in miami you party in uh, in goa and when you take your shirt off at the beach you can't buy that that's the rolls royce next question hemaxi yes thank you ryan uh, i'll take up the next question uh, so the next question comes in from mr avi sharma he's from jaipur if the focus is on controlling body fat percentage and one is said to running religiously daily then is it a better idea to switching to walking as much as is an equivalent alternative is that the direction one should walk in i would like to keep that fat in check okay so this is a very complex question and this is the same question that amir khan asked me so when amir khan gained 93 kg he's like i got the trainer i'm running around like listen amir you need to walk so he went off to us and checked into a ranch and he would walk 4 hours reach the ranch have lunch and then walk 4 hours back to the other ranch my point is if you want to burn fat unless you're an elite athlete where you run and you are in a fat burning zone which is 220 minus your heart rate into 60 to 70% of your heart rate so those of you who do the counseling with my team mrudul please tell the team to calculate everyone's fat burning zone now when you run like when i run my heart rate goes to 165 155 165 170 i am not a conditioned athlete my fat burning zone is 105 to 138 so i need to run at that intensity where my heart rate is at that level where i'll use 70% of my fuel source as fat the simple way i can explain to all finance guys is this okay um i got a lot of money and i got to dispose of it very secretly very quickly okay so i come to you and i say hey mr chartered accountant how do i get rid of this money 
So you will say you want quick, quick uh, this thing or very slow. So I'll say, no, no, no. There are two types of money. One is white and one is black. So the white money is your muscle and the black money is your fat. So what you do, black money, you want to disappear it fast, start walking slowly and start distributing it slowly. That's the way it works. So with runners, they don't like this because, oh, you want me to run and you want me to walk. There's no time in the day. So what I tell people, try and get post meals, walk. When you're in the office, walk and talk on the phone. When you finish dinner at night, a secret I give all my clients in counseling, especially the men, you're mostly out on the whole day. When you come back home, go for a walk with your wife after dinner and try and convince her and you to get six to 7,000 steps in a walk. You both bond. She feels you've spent time with her and it's a great therapeutic drop down for the day. Your heart also relaxes. You get fat burning. Next morning, get up, go for your run again, based on heart rate. I think this is how I would guide people. But yes, uh, walking, in my opinion, is the gold standard. And I, I think short of getting death threats from gold gym and fitness first, they all hate me for saying this because I'm killing the gym business because everyone goes to the gym and runs. You go to the gym, wait, train. You want to run, go on the beach, go on the park go in a place where there are no vehicles and, and, and get your body to do 10, 15 minutes of running. And again, I'm scared, heart attack. You've not done your health checkup. So till you get the cardiologist clear, clean state, by the way, I'm connected with one of the best cardiologists in India. So if any of you need a gate pass to Dr. Ashish contractor, get in touch with me, get in touch with Pankaj. Pankaj will get in touch with me and we'll get you to Ashish contractor to get your heart checked out in Bombay. Okay, so the next question is said from Mrs. Rashmi Munjra coming from Dubai. Uh, why do we get vomit sensation after pomegranate juice? Okay, so now I have to shoot myself because in this case, I have to advise Ms. Rashmi, she's probably allergic to pomegranate. Her body is one of those bio individuals. So see, this guru said, hey, everyone eat pomegranate. Now suddenly, poor thing, now Rashmi gets vomit. That's a true thing. Rashmi, you should not eat pomegranate. Listen to your body. I get gag reflex with, uh, uh, with certain Indian berries. So I don't eat them. Right? So whenever you feel a gag reflex, your child complains or vomits, don't force your child. Don't force yourself to eat that. Uh, and so then I know the next question Rashmal asked me, which all people in my counseling are saying, but you said it'll clean up plaques. So what should I do? You could buy capsule of pomegranate seeds alone. It is called beta steta sterol, which is the active compound in the pomegranate seed. And you can take a capsule of beta steta sterol under my prescription advice as a nutritionist with the blessings of your cardiologist. Can anyone take beta steta sterol just like that? I would say better to take the food. If you're going to take the capsule, there should be a medical condition involved and a medical physician slash dietitian slash nutritionist who's qualified should be helping you on that decision. Next question here, Maxi. Uh, we have a question from Mr. Yadubendra Mathur. He says, I'm 63. My question is about mutton. Should it be totally avoided? He's from Jaipur. So I just had the same question and I'm smiling because I had the same question today in a live counseling uh, from a guy who manufactures furnaces in India. And he's like, oh, Ryan, you did my microbiome test. In 21 days, you put me on veg diet. Can I have mutton? Uh, I'm a non-vegetarian. I eat non-veg almost, almost both the meals of the day. This is my answer. What's this gentleman's name again, Himakshi? Mr. Yaduvendra Mathur. So Mr. Mathur, my advice to you would be, uh, if you read up the China study, it says that vegetarian diets have the least amount of cancer. So first question, ask in your family, is a high incidence of cancer? If there was in the dadimas and uncles and aunties high incidence of cancers, then you're better off lowering your mutton to maybe twice a month, maybe three times a month, once every 10 days. Okay. If there's none of that, then look at your blood test, cholesterol profile, and look at your fat percentage. So if your cholesterol is clear, you've done an annual health checkup and your heart is clear. Okay. And you can run and you're working out. I would do a mutton biryani after my legs day on Friday and enjoy it. So I would do a heavy weight training and then I would do my mutton biryani. So from that perspective, I am not anti non-veg, but I would tell people that you live longer on a vegetarian diet. You have lesser cancer incidence on a, uh, on a vegetarian diet and you have lesser plaque formation also on a vegetarian diet because red meats tend to 
tend to have an aggressive uh, form of uh, cholesterol plaque formation. Okay, by the way, my, my by the way, my colleague has posted the form where you can register yes. for the free uh, for the free call with our team of nutritionists. Uh, I, I suggest you've got nothing to lose. Talk at least have the contact number. If not this month, next quarter. If not this quarter, the next part of the year. And if not this year, at some point, please do a scientific planning of your diet. Next question. Thank you, thank you, Ryan. Uh, the next question is from Deepika from Mumbai. What mm -hmm. do you think about intermittent fasting? Does it impact thyroid levels for women above 40 years? Uh, I have the same question, Ryan. So maybe two questions okay. answered at once. Okay, so to Deepika and Himaksi and to everybody who has a medical condition and wants to do fasting, if you work with a good nutritionist, there is no reason why you should not do intermittent fasting. In fact, I work with diabetics on fasting and have successfully reversed diabetes, but it's a challenging thing to look at the blood glucose level. With regards to thyroid, there is no issue on intermittent fasting and taking thyroid medication. In fact, it actually improves provided your micronutrition, that is all the vitamins and minerals for your thyroid and body function, because you're going to eat less in intermittent fasting needs to be taken care of. Therefore, the nutritionist needs to help you. But in a general scenario, I think intermittent fasting is the best discovery after the pandemic. That actually puts people like me out of a job. Because I was very happy when people were eating, 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 eating. They're like, oh, sir, I've got cholesterol. I got weight gain. I diet. Uh, doctor told me to come to the dietitian. But with intermittent fasting, I've seen a lot of people lose weight. Okay. And they lost fat weight. So I think the planet is eating too much. Fasting, ekadashi, uh, we had Lent, we had Moharam, we had, uh, uh, you know, uh, Ramzan. All of these things in our ancient religions and cultures pointed towards fasting. And a Japanese doctor scientist won the Nobel Prize on fasting. And what he said was, spring cleaning happens in your body when you fast. Spring cleaning, the old cells die off and the zombie cells die off and the new cells get rejuvenated. Now, intermittent fasting is a lazy form of fasting because it is very easy to do. But because you are born into breakfast, lunch and dinner from your parents, you're continuing to do breakfast, lunch and dinner. But I believe you're all DJs. DJs means we are desk jockeys. So we use only our fingers and our brains. Where are we losing? I've been, I've been sitting down for this entire one hour, 15 minutes. So I need to keep moving. But uh, yeah, I just got about 100 steps just bouncing around and shaking in over here in this chair. And that's not even movement. So reducing the amount you're eating by enhancing the gap between two meals is better. So eat early, eat by seven if you can. And, and, and if you want to lose weight, then your first meal should be at around 12, 1, 2. By the way, if you get acidity, you can use cucumber and you can use an amino acid called glutamine, which will not break your fast. So salad, lettuce, cucumber. These guys are things that will not break your fast. Green tea, but for some people, green tea causes acidity. So those with acidity problem or medical condition, please contact a nutritionist and work with them. After all, your body is... Um, your body is very valuable. And I find it very funny that, I mean, would you trust me to repair your mobile phone? Hey, everyone, I left the nutrition profession. Pankaj, please send your iPhone to me. I am going to repair it. I got certification, Pankaj. I got certification from, from factory in China how to repair phone. I will do it. Where will you go? You will go to the original service center. Your body needs a, a specialist to work on your nutrition, on your exercise. Please do that. You spend more money on Gucci bags and sneakers than on the scientific basis on how you should eat, sleep, and train. Please think about this. Let's go forward. Next question. Interesting. We have another question from Gauri from Qatar. Mm -hmm. It said that anemic person has to combine their iron supplements with vitamin C. What is the science behind or is there any specific iron-rich food for vegetarians? Um, so, so basically what happens is, uh, you know, like um, when I go to Pankaj and I'll come to Jaipur, I'll like a Pankaj, just arrange, you know, for that uh, VIP tour of the fort. So let's say Pankaj is vitamin C and I'm iron. So I come to Jaipur and he is the gate pass for me. So vitamin C combines with iron and gives it a faster gate pass of absorption from the intestinal level. Okay. Number two, the foods that really work for people 
first of all 60% of the indian women population do have anemia and hemo low hemoglobin as a genetic predisposition so what we can do is increase watercress seeds haleem seeds uh, we can um, we can uh, increase uh, date which has got iron spinach all green leafy vegetables uh, which have a higher iron content you can take an iron supplementation uh, under the advice of your nutritionist uh, and combining it with vitamin c really well works the latest what i'm doing for people who don't respond to nutrition or supplements is we do infusion which is you go to anti aging clinics and they put a drip in you and in that they'll put some glutathione some vitamin c some iron and all of that uh, improves uh, absorption for a period of one month women lose iron and have low hemoglobin because of monthly menstruation cycle so they lose blood so i always recommend that women who are in active cycles to do a blood test every quarter so that they are suddenly not caught off guard with a 8 or 9 hemoglobin level where in the correct range is 12 to 16 so uh, please keep this in mind uh, and sometimes we work with women where we try everything and it just doesn't go up you are destined and born to have a low hemoglobin level don't worry too much about it if you're not fainting all the time and you're falling sick all the time and you can't do any work if you're hale and hearty and you're bumbly and bouncing all around the place don't worry about it i know women with 9 and 10 hemoglobin have given birth to children they dance in movies nothing happens they just keep check on their nutrition and they keep check on their heart rate that's it oh thank you ryan and the next question is very interesting i'm sure everyone's going to have this question all the parents sitting here uh macado neil says my kid is allergic to green vegetables or any kind of vegetarian food he only loves chicken how does one make them eat veg uh my son is very similar doesn't eat many of the vegetables so there are three words for parents first you convince your children then you corn your children or you camouflage the 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 the, the thing like you know uh Um, my son i was like uh, you know the internet goes off after 9:30 so it doesn't work so we have to switch off the tv so that's conning my kid i hope he's not listening in so uh, the point over here is if you want your child to eat uh, like for example pav bhaji okay my kid licks the fingers of pav bhaji he is in no green peas broccoli everything is in that so if the child likes chicken why not make chicken cutlet slip in all your green vegetables and they are blended and put into the mashed potato with the chicken cutlet so the kid just eats that and eats it so that's one way second way as i said at the beginning of my seminar enroll a nutrition tuition teacher nutrition teacher to tell your son whatever your son let's say your son's name is isaac isaac you got to speak to swasni today she's your nutrition teacher swasni gets into dialogue with your kid now most children are smart and like my son he goes to swasni it's like papa swasni told me to eat carrots every day you did not give me carrots today like okay son and i told you as a baby to eat carrots you didn't want to but now as a 10 year old swasni tells him to eat something he's okay to try and experiment with it please understand children are fussy research has shown it takes 12 exposures 12 there was a swedish study 12 exposures so my son hated raisins so for 12 exposures i kept at it i can you got to eat this no i don't like it i don't like it i don't like it uh, i can you're going to eat it you're going to eat three for papa you if you love papa you're going to eat three so a little bit of blackmail a little bit i'll get you, i will go for an hour, uh, we'll go for a ride on the bike little, little, little. okay so i got him through 12 exposures now if i put a little bit of uh, raisins in the pulao or raisins in his kheer he is happily eating it but earlier like eh, i'll take it out and not so you got to really figure out whether the child has a gag reflex which is maybe they are allergic to it or they just being fussy and most of us parents don't have the time to figure this out enroll with a nutritionist for 6 months every person who has come to condition has says it's the best decision ever in their life because they're like dude i'm just going to tell your nutritionist you're not eating in the next call and the kids like no 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 don't do that i i i want to be very happy with my principal my tuition teacher and stuff like that it happens for adults also huh? by the way uh, husbands and wife join for a program the wife like why the husband is not following anything he is just all telling her so i'm like listen ma'am don't do anything just click a photograph and put it on the whatsapp group and wives do that huh? then the husband feels like hey yaar wife's got to click photograph i might as well eat whatever is put on my plate so you know that works very well next question hai maxi Okay uh so uh, again another question which 
says uh, about maintaining weight. Uh, Mr. Amitabh Sabu from Dubai says, I have lost 35 plus kgs with intermittent fasting. I follow only lunch and dinner with fruit snack in between. Any tip? So, sir, my amazing, amazing to lose 35 kgs. I bet you, you have become younger by about 40 years. So you probably had one foot in the grave. It's out of the grave. And uh, now you're good to go back to college again is, is what I feel. Tips for you. Get your annual health checkup done. Check out your plumbing and everything inside. Um, uh, invest in a good trainer, sir. Invest in a good nutritionist. Don't be conjusy about that. If, if, you, if anyone in this audience is earning over $100,000 a year, my suggestion to you is blindly hire a mind coach, nutritionist, and a physical fitness trainer for the next five years. It will change the way you actually uh, approach your life. Because we work with Olympic level superstars and we get them to win medals. We work with film stars. We get them to get to that role. Uh, we work, I worked with, uh, I worked with everyone from Paytm to uh, some of the biggest industrialists in India. Can't take names because they don't like it. But some of the richest people, uh, they are having four or five experts with them. And you don't need to be a billionaire because you are satisfied. I'm satisfied with an ordinary simple Skoda. I, I don't want a high-end vehicle. It's just too much of hassle to maintain it in Bangalore. My thought process is, if I were going to spend another 50 lakhs on a Mercedes, I actually pumped that into the next five years for my trainers and my health and my supplements and everything else. So that's my, uh, uh, that's my advice to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ryan, there are a few words being used repetitively by various of our, uh, you know, people who are interested to know. Naturopathy, recommended, not recommended. Uh, then hypertension. What is the food that you, rec you know, uh, recommend for hypertension and hypertension linked to mood swings? How does one uh, look at mood swings and night cravings? So maybe this is a mix of questions from all the attendees and we could cater to all of them together. Yes, to naturopathy. What is naturopathy? Naturopathy is when you go back to our ancient wisdom from the Ayurveda practices of where food becomes thy medicine. Um, I'm only against naturopathy if some of these compounds that are made, they're sometimes made with heavy metals. So if you do supplementation from naturopathic or Ayurvedic products, please do a blood test after three months because I've had cases where people have taken certain powders and pills and they've damaged their liver. So that's the only negative, but otherwise it's like, 95% positive. Uh, with regards to hypertension, hypertension happens because your blood vessels are becoming jada. They're becoming old. You know, old pipelines burst. So as you get older, your, your, your pipelines, your blood vessels are not elastic to absorb the pressure. So first things first, breathing works for hypertension. Yog Nidra. Download an app called Yog Nidra that works on hypertension. Reduce your salt. Reduce your salt. Try and go off salt, your BP will come down. Exercise, walking, lose 10, 20 kgs of the obese weight that you have, your hypertension will come down. Beetroot, amla, turmeric, pepper in your diet. Perform the function of blood thinning. Purple cabbage is a natural painkiller which relaxes blood vessels. So I do purple cabbage, I do purple jamun. I do purple lettuce. If I do get it, I get purple sweet potato. This protects you. Pistachios, 20 to 25 numbers. If you're on intermittent fasting, can be used as a snack to lower BP. Non-salted pistachios, unsalted pistachios. Okay. However, if you have a high sodium hypertension, then pistachios is not recommended. So you see there's a bio-individuality. You get different types of hypertension. Uh, and so... Generic advice should never be followed with people with hypertension, especially those on Telmat and uh, all of the BP uh, or blood thinner medication. So I would just say work with a medical dietitian uh, to reduce your medication. We have reversed medication provided the person exercises and changes the diet. And we have reversed it in 80 year old people also. So, uh, you know, if you're, if you're in your forties or fifties, don't believe that. You know, I, my dad recently said, my sugar is under control. Hey, daddy, you're taking 16 tablets. That's why your sugar is under control. You're taking medicine. You're not under control. You take a supplement. Yeah. 
that's nutritional supplement that is from nature uh, protein or uh, vitamin b complex or probiotic or coenzyme these these are found in the human body huh? metformin is not found in the human body yeah you may say to me metformin gives anti aging but don't convince yourself that because you're taking medication your problem is under control it's like going to a chartered accountant and saying your 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 bank balance is completely short and you're telling your chartered are kuch to golmal karo yaar gol par karo sab ko theek ho jayega to in today's day and world everything is transparent so even in medicine in the medical world if you have an underlying condition medicine doesn't solve your problem that's that's interesting thank you so much ryan that was that was an interesting session we have a lot of questions as you said we've penned them all down uh we will be requesting all the participants to either mail us or we will mail them and 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 send them answers to all these questions through you uh of course everyone has uh, logged on the links uh, filled the surveys and taken down ryan's number to uh, you know to connect with quant nutrition uh, nutritionist i would now like to take the opportunity to call upon uh, vikram lodha co-founder and ceo of 360 tf to uh, you know to thank uh, ryan for this interesting interesting session So thank you know Ryan. Thanks a lot uh, to you and the uh, Quan Nutrition team and all the audience uh, you know who attended the call and have been a patient uh, listener all throughout the last ninety minutes. And and all I can say is uh, it's been overwhelming. It's wonderful. Uh, my my core takeaway is I want to reduce my my metabolic age uh, and and. Uh, let me you know i i was looking for your number and i got this you you know first call you can expect coming coming by your way and uh, this has been this has been wonderful uh, all i can say is as individuals as we you know the education system and you rightly pointed out uh, the focus on uh, healthy eating uh, nutritional eating has not been is not a part of our education system and and that's somewhere you know uh, i also feel that there is a need that we need to teach our 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 uh, awards on that side and have them you know being a better aware individual as they grow up and uh, have all the kinds of uh, dietary habits we are still fortunate uh, being this side of 40 we've had up we've seen our parents quite closely i would just say that we didn't have the uh the the qsr at that time and and hence we were not exposed to all that uh we were a bit lucky on that side and uh, these kids uh, of this generation uh, you know they have all the access and there is abundance i also you know completely agree with you that as uh, today's age uh, individuals we eating far more than what we should be the so cutting down on diet is is also important uh to reduce our carbon footprint one of the esg goals that we also follow at 360 tf uh wonderful right it, it's been such a pleasure having you and you. Uh, all i can say is we look forward to one more session now when do we have it how do we have it let's see that but so, uh, so what wonderful. i would what i would say vikram since you're since you're uh, thinking of a follow up i would say to you as 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 a community as a group as people that have attracted to your brand and your leadership and whatever that we are doing together um figure out how maybe 100 people can come together and publicly acknowledge what is going to be their goal for 2023 then what you can do is figure out as an internal compass how do you acknowledge the people that do it for a day for a week for a quarter for a year and what i will come and do is probably do a follow up session based on these people sharing maybe 2 300 questions with me which i will take and create a new presentation so it is what everybody wants to know further you know right. so that's something we could do as a follow up and when it can happen would be once everyone commits to goals interacts with you guys downloads it so maybe you have one or two people who are the brand ambassadors of health in 360 tf and it's your vendors your partners and it's a program and uh, yeah maybe it could be a holiday in goa where we meet every but i i i'm from <laughs> goa and i i will be in goa and then we could just uh, Uh, you know maybe not over beers because that's high calorie <laughs> but maybe maybe over uh, a, a chamomile tea absolutely and that's a, that's another takeaway for us uh, 
you know, I was chatting with my team on the other side and I was like, let's have this institutionalized in our, in our offices uh, quickly for everyone. The moment you say that it produces the, uh, you know, it helps the team achieve uh, a better result and, you know, help them function better in a better manner. So it's, it's been fantastic that and uh, uh, to my team in Jaipur, no more, no more jalebis and no more samosas. Sorry, guys. So on on that note, <laughs> I have two questions which are uh, which are very interesting. I just Ryan, it's going to take a split second. No White problem. sugar versus brown sugar versus jaggery. None of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because because like that. Please, please understand, sugar cane is taken, sugar cane is boiled and extracted, and you get jaggery. Jaggery is bleached to give you white jaggery or left color jaggery. So it has all the minerals. So what the guy does, oh, marketing. See, every food is promoted by a marketer. Dooth hai, cow hai, how do we promote it? If I'm a sugarcane farmer, how to promote it? If I'm a soya farmer, if I'm a pista farmer, how to promote it? Right? So as a nutritionist, I say that's got iron, potassium, phosphorus. Hey, you can get that from broccoli, man. Then you go to white sugar and brown sugar. Jaggery refined will give you brown sugar, but you don't bleach it. Oh, it is healthier. It is not beets or no chemicals. Hey, sugar is still causing diabetes spike. So ultimately, if you wear the, like I told you, I'm wearing the thing, you just have a nimbu pani with salt and you watch it, there's no spike. You have nimbu pani with half a teaspoon of sugar, poop, it goes up. So that for me now is like, I would give sugar to a person who I'm meeting up, I'm very happy and I'm, I'm, I'm going out tonight after a long time. So I'm going to have whatever mocktail they give me. I'm not going to drink because I've got a workout session at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. But I'm going to have a mocktail and I'm going to have sugar in it. But then I don't have sugar for the rest of the two, three days. So you got to figure out this uh, debit and credit note in your body. And some instruments are disguised as AAA, but they're actually junk bonds. Okay, so get smart on it. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. This is this is lovely. And uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us. I'm sure, Ryan, you're going to get a lot of queries and questions, especially from the vegetarian lot. So looking forward to, to having another session with you, Ryan. Wonderful. Thank you. Mrithul, please copy all the Q&As and I'll use that as Instagram questions for 2023. Sure. sure. Uh, or, or maybe even LinkedIn, because I think most of the finance guys are on LinkedIn. They're not on Instagram. So, sure, so, sure, I'll so do that. We'll, we'll do Insta, Instagram posts. Bye, everyone. Have a great weekend yeah. and God bless you in 2023. Thank Mas you. Bye bye. The, Thank by, you. By the way, muscle is the only age reversible organ. So, Pankaj, Vikram, uh, we're going to live till 100. You know, it's a matter of chance, and I'll just take a 30 second. We had Ajit. one session with uh, Dr. Khandelwal uh, a month back in Mumbai. And he made the same point that you know, not, with, with the advancement of, of medical science, we're going to live that long. You know, medicines are not going to let us die. But let's but live, live. Let's in, live healthily. If you want to live in a wheelchair, or you want to be driving, no. that, we want to be driving so, that Porsche you know, 899. So we're kind of kind of connecting the two now. With you around, we're going to live he healthily and and uh, in, a, in a fit body. Awesome. It was it was wonderful to, to be productive today because of you guys. Thank you so much for the thank opportunity. You, and thank you everyone for attending. Thank you everyone. Team 360 TF and Quan Nutrition signing off. Thank you.